Yes, today we are working on drawing a very simple sugar skull that you can decorate in whatever manner you prefer. All right, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to draw the eyes and I'm working on just a part of the paper here. So I'm going to draw the eyes nice and big and my eyes are about um, Oh, about the size of a dollar coin or a euro, but so they're a little bit bigger than a quarter. All right, now I'm going to turn it upside down so I can easily draw myself a heart. It's kind of cool, but the area that is your nasal cavities is, is kind of like a heart shape. So I'm going to turn it back. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to draw the part that is the cheekbone. So it kind of comes down and then curves around. And this part should be kind of sort of level or <laughs> a little bit lower than the heart. Okay, and I'm going to do it on the other side too. So it comes out for a second and then it comes back in. And, of course, we're all about embracing the wabi-sabi this year, the imperfections. So, we're going to come out around for the top of the skull, and then we're going to come back. Okay? And again, the more you do this, the better you'll get. Okay? And the taller this is, the more room you'll have to do some cool drawing. All right. Our next part is going to be part of the front of the jaw teeth area. So it's going to come down and around like that. And then we're going to curve around to create the bottom part of the jaw. So it's going to come around and it's going to go kind of low and then it's going to join up. So it's kind of like a big giant U shape. Now we're going to carry this through here and this through here. Okay, and those are just really, really simple curves. Now, depending on your style, you can make this more of a smile or more of a flat line. I prefer to kind of do kind of an in between. And then I'll start the teeth, but I'll divide out the teeth, depending on how many I really want to show. So I might do like that many, and then hopefully I can fit the same on the other side. You're trying to be kind of symmetrical here. And then you're going to join with little curvy lines, and that's going to show the top of the tooth and then you come back and show the bottom of the tooth and it looks a little bit like he's wearing a retainer on his teeth okay now this is it as far as your basic basic skull all right totally it but there's all sorts of other cool stuff that you can add usually I will start with some sort of circle part in the eye and then I will work from there and do some flowers. So I'm going to speed it up at this point to show you how I'm going to um, do this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding flowers, half flowers, I'm designing them. I'm going in and adding more black where I can, which is changing the measure of the line, which makes it more interesting.